Jackie Yates at home in the FA Cup. Daryl, your first league start last week, and presumably happy to get that under your belt. Yeah, of course, yes. Yeah. Um, you know, I've been waiting all season for an opportunity in the league, and um, I got that on Saturday, and um, we couldn't have asked for a better result, really, you know, 3-0 um, against a, a decent Exeter side as well. So, um, so, yeah, it was good. And presumably now you hope that that turns into a run of games, a run of starts. Yeah, hopefully. Um, you know, I was, I was pretty rusty on Saturday, um, and um, you know, by the time 65 minutes come round, you know, I was, I was, I was absolutely knackered. So, um, so yeah, right decision to take me off when he did as well. And but you know, the the more games you play, the the sharper I'll get, the fitter I'll get, and um, you know, hopefully I'll be more involved in in games as well. How difficult is it getting that? Final bit of match fitness so that you can last the full ninety. Yeah, it's, it's difficult. You know, you, you can train all you want, but you can't replicate competitive match match sharpness. You know, friendlies are a bit the closest you'll get to it, but you know they don't even they don't replicate the, the you know the the level of sharpness and fitness that you need for um, you know for first team games on on Saturdays. So you know, obviously the, the more games that you can get in the team, the the sharper and fitter you get. But um, you know and at, that, at the same time, you need to be doing enough in the games to merit starting the next game, so it's, it's quite difficult. Yes, this weekend in the FA Cup, and on paper, Cheltenham should win, but football games aren't played on paper, are they? No, not at all, especially cup games. You know, there's always upsets every year. Um, you know, teams from lower divisions knocking out teams from, from higher divisions. Bradford done it, you know, just against Wigan there. So, um, so yeah, it's, it happens every year. We just need to make sure we are not one of these cup upsets. What's the mentality of playing against a non-league team? Because you know they're going to raise themselves. You know perhaps they might test you out physically as well. Yeah, I mean, we can't have any complacency whatsoever. We just need to approach it the same way that we do every league game. Um, you know, we're, we're approaching it the way we did last year for the FA Cup last year. And, you know, we, we had a great run at it last year. So, um, you know, we're preparing the same way. We're doing all the same things that we did last year. And, um, you know, it's just down to us on on the day to be mentally right, and um, you know, if we are, then you know, we, we should win the game. Can actually, what happened last year, going all the way to the third round and playing Spurs, can that be an incentive, a motivator for this season? It should be, um, you know, because everyone that was involved last year going to going to Tottenham, it was you know, it was a great day. It was it was a proper football game, you know, it was a big stadium and um, great atmosphere. So anybody that didn't enjoy it is in the wrong sport. So. Um, and yeah, we need, to, we need to aspire to to do the same thing again this year. You've played around West Country football for quite a while. Yate, have you ever played there before? Have you, do you know much about the club? No, nothing to be honest. I don't know anything. Um, but you know, the, the staff here will, they'll have as well drilled on each of their players and how they play and stuff like that. So um, we'll have all the necessary information comes out of there. And I suppose the fact that they beat Newport, who are top of the conference, kind of as a first point tells you all you need to know yeah exactly and you know it wasn't as if it was just a flick one off game as well they, they were 3-1 up in the first leg the first uh, tie sorry um, and conceded two late goals to take it to the replay and then they've went to Newport and beat them there as well so um, that should that should tell us everything we need to know about them that um, this is not going to be an easy game for us and you know we need to be on top of our game Thank you, good luck. Cheers, mate. So, Darrell, when you were living in Bristol and at Rovers, you never really heard anything about Yate then? Or you played no, against him with friends no, or No, we didn't even play them pre-season or anything, no. It was, um, I, I don't know anything about them, really, apart from they're called Yate. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this will be, it'll be a first for me and um, hopefully it'll be an enjoyable first experience. Yeah, we spoke about you uh, knocking on the manager's door and you know asking for that chance. Now, I suppose, if you get a little run in the side, it's just up to you to, to prove that you're yeah, right. Yeah, of course. Um, like you say, I've, I've pestered the manager to give me a give me a start. I've I've got one. Um, I've obviously played in the, the Johnson Spain Trophy as well against Oxford. And yeah, hopefully if if we keep winning three 0 every week, he can't drop me. So um, so hopefully, you know, I just need to try and do as best I can, work as hard as I can, and make it impossible for him to drop me. Yeah, you said you felt a bit rusty, but you played a, a small but very important part in the goal, didn't you? Uh, first goal. Uh, how, how good a finish was that from Lawson? Did you? Yeah. It was, it was a great finish, you know. I don't, I don't think he could have done anything else. He had to just, you know, get a toe on it because I think if he tried to side foot it, the defender would have got in and made a block. So he's, he's, you know, he couldn't have picked a better option. And 
just flew in the top corner. It must have been a great feeling for him on his debut. It was a good little move, though, wasn't it? As well? Yeah, it was a great move. Um, you know, he's flicked it inside. I flicked it back out to him, and he's he's been positive when he's drove on. You know, he could easily have checked back and tried to keep the ball for us, but he was positive. He drove forward and he got his rewards. Yeah, as mu- as much as you want to play whatever the formation is, would it would would you like to play fo- starting a four four two? Do you think that would help you on Saturday if you if you had somebody up there with you? Yeah, of course. Um, it's, it's no, it's no secret that it's not my favourite position playing up front on my own. But at the same time, and I just enjoy playing. You know, playing one up front, or I'd play wide, or playing a two. Um, but I think I'm I think I'm more effective. I'm more of a threat playing in a two. Um, you know, I think I can get quite isolated and um, and a, a lone striker role um, sometimes. But you know, like I say as long as you keep working hard and we're winning games, then um, you know it's difficult to change a winning team. Yeah, if you look at the team's best run of form last season, and probably the most of your goals came. Yeah. It was it was three up front. Though you and Jimmy sort of swapping a bit, weren't you? Either in the middle or wide, and it, se- it seemed to work, then, didn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, um, you know, like you say, it was it was me or Jimmy. We we didn't. None of us started through the middle and all started right. We just kind of alternated throughout the game, um, and it worked really well at times last year. Um, so you know the manager knows that he can he can play forwards out wide. All of us could probably do a job out wide here, so um, he knows he's got that option if, if he needs it. Yeah, and there's a player playing in the Premier League now. You played up front with and sort of brought the best out of each other a little bit, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> I know. And, uh, yes, I know. It's um, yeah, Big Lambos. He's scored goals in, at every level now. And, um, you know, he's he's just a handful to play against. He's you know he's a big strong target man, and that's the kind of players that I, I kind of love playing beside. Um, but yeah, he's he's done great for himself, like Ricky. Yep.